Chief Minister Nong Thong Mambiren inaugurates new COVID care center with 400 bed capacity at Lamboy, Kong Nang Kong. Confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Manipur rise to 2,920, out of which active cases are 1,147, as 1,766 have recovered. Residents of COVID containment zones urge authorities concerned to take necessary safety measures. Government signed Memorandum of Understanding with seven government hospitals and three private hospitals to provide free treatment to beneficiaries of Ayushman Bharat PMJY and CMHT scheme. And to India report, single day spike of nearly 53,000 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. Their toll reaches 38,135. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Prime Time English Bulletin. I'm Joyce Chigusham with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Chief Minister Nong Thumbam Biren today inaugurated a new COVID care center with 400 bed capacity at Lamboy Kong Nang Kong. Speaking on the sidelines, Chief Minister N. Biren disclosed that the state cabinet in its upcoming session will decide to extend total lockdown in Manipur to contain the spread of coronavirus. He also called upon the public to extend necessary cooperation with the government during the lockdown period. The Chief Minister appeals to immediately approach the Medical Directorate or inform COVID control room in the event of experiencing any symptoms related to COVID-19 to get necessary treatment instead of hiding the same for the safety of oneself and others. It may be mentioned that the Chief Minister has already instructed to increase the bed capacity of the new COVID care center to 1,000. Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar, Health Minister L. Jenta Kumar and other health or relevant officials were present on the occasion. The main point to overcome this corona pandemic is the awareness amongst the people. I'm worried that awareness is not having in all part of the team. But even though we are trying very hard, the next cabinet had to see the situation and if needed, another weekend will have to extend the lockdown. I cannot say exactly uh, if community spreading has started or not, but in everybody's mind, having local transmission has started, so we are taking care of it. Men Confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Manipur have reached 2,920, out of which 1,147 are active cases and recoveries are 1,766. Recovery rate from COVID-19 stands at 60.47% in Manipur. In the past 24 hours, 84 people have been tested positive for COVID-19 in the state, including five Central Armed Police Force CAPF personnel. As per information from IDSP Manipur and COVID-19 Common Control Room, 67 people were detected positive at RIMS VRDL, 16 at District Hospital Taubal, and 6 at Babina Diagnostic Center. 51 infected persons are from Imphal West District, 30 from Taubal, and 2 each from Bishnupur and Ukrul districts. All the infected persons, except the two infected persons, each from Thobal and Ukrul, are all returnees from outside the state. Altogether, 39 people have been discharged after testing negative. People in the state are reeling under the fear of possible community spread of coronavirus, although authorities concerned have allayed such fears time and again. Suspicions are looming large that spread of the virus at the community level might be possibly going on undetected. Meanwhile, the state government has declared many areas as containment zones in a bid to contain local transmission of coronavirus. People in containment zones have urged the authorities concerned to take necessary safety measures.
কন্টেনমেন্ট জোন লোকসভা মানপুর গভর্নমেন্টি মাইকেদি আপনি সিকিউরিটি পার্সন থাকবেন কন্টেনমেন্ট জোন লোকলিবাম কন্ট্রোল তৈরি আপনি কন্টেনমেন্ট জোন আপনি কন্ট্রোল তোমাকে হোনারপদ লাই আপনি ফত নু হাই ขณะใสนบสิงบะอคุยทอลปยาบิอคีบสุไลตบนะติอะดูเลงากิสะทะริบะทะวงสิมารุเอนะเฮลดิปาร์ทเมนต์กิตะทะริบะทะวงสิด
Vehicular traffic on the road was nil and only few vehicles were seen plying on the streets for emergency and essential services. Shops in Imphal City remain closed except for medical stores and pharmacies. Police patrol units are being stationed at strategic locations in the city to keep a strict vigil to prevent any untoward incidents. Local clubs are extending cooperation to the authorities concerned in ensuring that people obey the lockdown restrictions. Streets in some localities are seen blocked by piling locks by locals to prevent movement of people and vehicles in their attempts to ward off COVID-19. Imphal West District Commando OCP Achauba has made a fervent appeals to everyone to stay indoors as much as possible to avoid getting infected by coronavirus, saying the COVID-19 lockdown is not some festival to be celebrated. State police continue to crack down on lockdown violators. A police team led by Commando OCP Achauba under the supervision of Imphal West District Additional SP Operations L Amarjit today detained many lockdown violators at Naurem Thong and issued them a fine of 500 rupees each. Speaking on the sidelines, OCP Achauba urged people to abide by guidelines provided by the government. He said it is high time to, take, to start taking personal initiatives to keep oneself and others safe from coronavirus instead of only waiting for a government's intervention. Moray police team also carried out crackdown on lockdown violators today. Police who people who fails to wear face masks, at those who opened shops and those moving around in vain were booked and imposed fines. A team led by Moray police station OC KH Dilip Kumar also ensured that visitors at banks in Moray town maintained social distancing norms. Rajya Sabha MP Leshamba Sanajauba has expressed astonishment upon the viral news stating that he is among the three strong contenders from the Northeast for the ministerial berth in the possible expansion of Prime Minister Narendra Modi cabinet. In a telephonic conversation with Impact News today, MP Leshamba Sanajauba said if he is ever given a ministerial post, it would be in acknowledgement of the state's rich heritage. I do not see a social media as Uu Bahitan. Yamkana, I did my city, I did a psychic, Tanaruba, Konaruba, Hyruba, to Donald Lady, or I'm saying of it. Kang the Moyna de Ayimi, Doxalopasi, I want the Luxumapa, Adigi, Hyriba, Mukoi, or whom Zimanu, the Ani, the Amna Kriker, Hani, Mudia, influential or Baminga, any for. Ado. I don't know, Kangi. I I I <laughs> Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur Desam condemned the BJP led state government for failing to solve the teacher education issue. Desam has pressed five demands, including demand to transfer a teacher who served as principal in charge for 14 years in the college. It warned to seal Directorate of Higher and Technical Education indefinitely if the government fails to meet their demands within five days. Teachers of Manipur have expressed their opinion on the impact and changes that will be brought in the education system of Manipur by the new National Education Policy 2020, a report in this regard. Mamang Tata Koyi, who took a education policy sing that he married in 1986, and also 1992, he policy that he married in a point of education sick, and a marriage in SSP, he have a matanda. Assessment so equity, have a city, the big given. 
Masina Maram or Tanda, say Mikum Kudima, Anga Kudima, Mahi Masin Taman, Bakman, Bahai Rasiro, the Sachin. Aduna, quality on the Kaya and in places behold them. Laiba Dumba, no one next in education policy, twenty twenty steady, Maru focusing work in a quality the in places behold. Hanaki, Anova policy, a steady pre primary, pre school, Masik Consul Lakanda, Mahi Angang Singsta, Hoye five plus three. Plus three plus four have a structure of Massam to a councillor. For the Lord of Contansi and the Fay, a Maruena, Malon Bu, and a Nansinda, Ramoto Viva from Mona Ibasi, Massam Tagani, whatever, Contaman. School, Singda, Hibadi, Primary, Amadi, Elementary, Group Ta, Sakari, School, Tambala, Liba, Nansing, a seat. Amadi Atopa English School Sing Sumangare, Imalon the Tamagadi, Nansing, Amadi, Mama Mapa, Imumanungi, Missing. Kuding mangna, mipung kuding mangna. Angang sing aduna, English tamlaroi hai bada. Yam na nungang ba, nungai taba, songing ba, kwao ba daba mali. Hai ba polisi ya sida yaori ba poin sing i marakta. Mai class 8 fong si, mai roi sing na masama sa i mama londa, mai tamba fong alat pa si. Asina maram mo erga, inam da masigi mai roi kaya. Masama sa i mama lond si bu, yam na matik magun lay na amadi. Mamutta and a Kanga Bikudon Sabam, a Suzoi soil in a Piragadori. Matanga, class six, the Gihauraga. When you skill development program, the coursing, Tangai for the Yaholak Pasina, my racing the high singing, Tangasi, Hingat Halatuna, Makoi Tungi Punsida, Masam Sagis in Pamam, Payonaba, Amadi, Kango Nabagi Kudon Sabamasu, soil in a Pigadori. Physics key. Aruba, a quaggy problem sing, meski, a reggae di hindi, a de chemistry, high basing the say, English the loin of Tambira Venina, Masizika, you know, Hibam Batanda, Mama Londu da Tamaktaragadi, physics ki knowledge, chemistry ki knowledge, Makum Pana, Moanda, Kangsanabagi Matixaba knowledge at all, Maduki, Loinabak Moanda, Poloto Bungani. Graduation time for Matam the Sue Hyde, but graduation gi stay as a sida, Makoina Pogi. Yeah, i every every subject could you see a me man manana I'm the subject on a stream among a stream high with I am a see man manana dum tamba particular subject and can handle mong tamagalunana so he chahi wa kwagi uh certificate issue to we could jam of PD in all in uh put mox put up yeager can the Masigi Jewish policy I'm to implement the Vita the uh Manipulgi Oida Namusum Kya Punamaki Oina a kwa yi global gewa issue sida a kwa yi students in Sigi and knowledge enhance the woman quality and hence, the have to say that the government has 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 to say that the government the the NEP 2020 ki Ministry of Human Resource Development Hayam Basi Ministry of Education Hayna Olagani Hayani Matanga sida aigi oiba pakhamda Ministry of Human Resource Development hiding ai dana hena pak sauna wan thok leiba oibra ano ba Ministry of Education hara agadi wan thok si yam pik paman ba pik su pik pa oi kane na khali medium of teaching language se akoi gi oiba Imarol, Natagana, Lambda Masiki, Lambda Masiki, Lone Singa, Tangadabani, Hibani, Masiki Matanga, Ayo, Bawakanda, Masigi, Pitribiki, Oiba, Global ISM, Iho, World Market, my own economy, Hite, my own Hitare, Masigi Maracasida, Aquina, Aquigi, Imar Lone Katanga, Tamaba, Atopa Maruini, English Kumba language, Yahogana, Sanction Bata, Ragadi, Aquising a sea, Globalized Singa, Nataga, World Economy Market, Aquai, Lanting Nabat Sangba. Graduation is three years degree course. One year, one degree, one basic certificate. Second year, one year, like year, one 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 year, Tamzakiba, Sina Singlogi provision of Mapira Pasina, Magi, self confidence, Amasum on the Sada drop out Ni Habagi, Ninghanabu, Lehendabuki, Adumbayam Pazava Port of Makakoi, Matam Sanga, India the Sunarpa, Ariba, Education System Amada, Akui Taunga, Lemanamar Muraka, and the sea, Malingi Hongiba, Adumba, Education Kango, Kayama da Koi, Mangin Tana, Sepangam, the Naku of Zikla Ribani, Adana, Hariba, Anuba Education Policy Sina, Akui Kudimukta. 
ajau bawa hong bawa orang tu na, aku he na kan na bawa ma, tunggu hari ni juga, ikhaya ina usin dah, soalnya pi lagi ni. Garbage is piling up at many places of Imphal city as NGOs and their Imphal Municipal Corporation have stopped collecting waste door to door. It may be recalled that the NGOs stopped collecting garbage after locals banned a disposal of waste at Lamdeng Solid Waste Management Plant and due to lockdown restrictions. Speaking to Impact News, representative of Committee of IMC Solid Waste Management, which is an, an NGO under the IMC, come a WOM President W. Ananda said seven NGOs under the IMC have been playing active roles in keeping the 27 wards of Imphal Municipal Corporation neat and clean. However, due to ban on waste disposal at the treatment plant since July 28, they have stopped their activities. He added that workers are unable to come to office due to ongoing lockdown restrictions. It may be recalled that Lamdeng Apunba Loop has prohibited dumping of garbage at Lamdeng Solid Waste Treatment Plant till August 7. Hari ni pun matam kerja sih kita manung dah. Seni tari wakar singsu, adu kita mati riks lagi ba, adu mayam khali sisu. Ikoi mayam sangatna community ki level dah, ikoi mayam na. Seru yara kan dah masih tau. Jadi ada apa mani? Ikoi kudi mana tau? Kudi mani hai bagi wakar lono tu. Lak tiba na maram itu na. Hujik lagi ba, isai isai yum yum dah lagi ba. Amora kai sing west mayam singa si. Mawu ngam mana tak? Kena mawu ngam mana dah? Ikoi nanti jenar lo selaga. Kami bermakna canggih. Aduh, aduh, kita yum dah lagi ba. Amor akan sih ngadu. Sorok ta, unduk pi bagi mau ta. Isha isha kita yum dah wet amadi dry. Hai tu nama khal ani thona khai dok pi raga. Hai riba amor pas sih ngadu ning thi na. Mufam sana tabiu. Residents of remote villages in Chorachanpur district continue to suffer from bad road connectivity and other basic amenities amid the coronavirus pandemic. Residents around Hengleb SDO quarter in the district are not only suffering from bad road connectivity, but even the PHC located at Hengleb is non-functional. An 18-year-old ailing girl had to be carried on a handheld bamboo stretcher all the way to Chorachanpur district hospital for treatment. Villagers have appealed to the authorities concerned to repair the around 40 km stretch of Hengleb SDO quarter to Tidim Road without further delay. Ningol Club Hairog staged protest demonstrations at Hairog Part 2 Bazaar as a part of its ongoing poster campaign against drug abuse and trafficking launched yesterday under the initiative of CADA. The club demanded to hand over the drug trafficking case of Lukosa Izo to the CBI. Secretary General of Ningol Club, Yai Pabi Ningtaujam, appeals to the government to award befitting punishment to drug dealers. Sanglai Indigenous Martial Arts and Cultural Society Kimax has demanded the government to hand over the, the drug trafficking case of Lukosa Izo to the CBI. Press release from the society has also appealed to people of the state to play a major role in curbing drugs menace. India has reported a single-day spike of nearly 53,000 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. Their toll has reached 38,135. As per the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, countries' total confirmed cases have crossed 18 lakhs, out of which active cases are nearing 5,80,000. Total recoveries from COVID-19 surpassed 11 lakhs. 40,574 recoveries have been reported in the last 24 hours. With this, country's recovery rate stands at 65.77% and uh, COVID-19 mortality rate has further declined to 2.11% in the country. Maharashtra has the highest number of active cases of above 1,48,000. Meanwhile, the Indian Council of Medical Research said that a total of 3,81,027 tests of coronavirus samples were conducted by various laboratories till yesterday. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 1 crore 82 lakh people and nearly 7 lakh people have died. Recoveries are above 1 crore 14 lakh. USA is on top with more than 22 lakh 75,000 active cases, followed by Brazil and India.
Total active cases of COVID-19 in the Northeast states, including Manipur, are nearing 16,500 mark. Assam's total confirmed COVID-19 cases are nearing 50,000 mark, out of which 10,415 are active cases. Our natural Pradesh's confirmed COVID-19 cases are 1,698, out of which 699 are active cases. Nagaland's confirmed cases are... 1,935 out of which 1,282 are active cases. Tripura's total confirmed COVID-19 cases are above 5,000 mark out of which 1,739 are active cases. There are 224 active cases of COVID-19 in Mizoram, 368 in Sikkim and 605 in Meghalaya. Drugs Controller General of India, DCGI, has given notes to the Serum Institute of India to conduct a phase 2 and 3 human clinical trials of COVID-19 vaccine developed by the Oxford University. The approval for conducting phase 2 and 3 clinical trials by the SII was granted by DCGI Dr. VG Somani late last night after a thorough evaluation based on the recommendations of the Subject Expert Committee on COVID-19. The expert panel at the Central Drug Standard Control Organization had on Friday recommended granting permission for phase 2 and 3 clinical trials of the vaccine Covishield on healthy adults in India. The firm has to submit safety data evaluated by the data safety monitoring boards to the CDSCO before proceeding to the phase 3 clinical trials. Currently, phase 2 and 3 clinical trials of the Oxford Vax vaccine are going on in the UK, phase 3 clinical trials in Brazil and uh, phase 1 and 2 clinical trials in South Africa. Central government has returned to all the states and union territories asking that smartphones and tablet devices should be allowed for hospitalized COVID-19 patients so that they can interact with their family and friends through video conferencing. This is expected to provide the patients psychological support. In the letter to the Principal Secretaries of Health and Medical Education of States and UTs, Director General of Health Services in the Health Ministry, Dr. Rajiv Garg said appropriate protocols for disinfecting devices and allocating time slots can be developed by the hospital concerns to facilitate contact between patients and their family. He stressed that administrative and medical teams should be responsive to the psychological needs of patients admitted in COVID-19 wards and ICUs. Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yedirupa has tested positive for COVID-19 and has been admitted to Manipal hospitals on the advice of doctors as a precautionary measure. Sources in DCM's office said that the 77-year-old leader's results came positive as part of the once-in-seven days test conducted by the health department. Yedi Yurappa tweeted at 11.30 p.m. on Sunday that he was tested positive for coronavirus. He has requested those who have come in contact with him recently to be observant and exercise self-quarantine. Sources said the CM recently met Governor Vajubai Valla and the later is likely to undergo tests. A few days back, Ministers C.T. Ravi, Anand Singh and B.C. Patil were tested positive. Islamic State militants were reportedly battling Afghan security forces in the eastern city of Jalalabad on Monday morning after an overnight assault on a prison that led to a mass jailbreak. The assault began on Sunday evening with car bomb detonated at the entrance to the prison and there were numerous other blasts heard as the IS gunmen opened fire on security guards. Officials said that at least five civilians were killed and around 40 wounded during the initial attack and the gun battle through the night as Afghan special forces arrived to support police. During the Suing Chaos, more than 75 prisoners escaped. A United Nations report last month estimated that there are around 2,200 IS members in Afghanistan and that while the group is in territorial retreat and its leadership has been depleted, it remains capable of carrying out high profile attacks. Manipuri Youth Front Assam MYFA FA, has once again appealed to the Assam government to enlist Manipuri language as an associate official language of Assam. 
MYFA has warned of intense agitations along with CSOs if Assam government fails to look into the matter. Speaking to media at Silcher Press Club today, President of Manipuri Youth Front Assam, Seram Harajit said, many Manipuri diasporas have been residing in Assam since the 15th century and there are 104 Manipur medium schools in Assam. He added that Manipuri department are also opened in 10 degree universities, Assam University, Silchar and Central University. Taking part in the press meet, MYFA General Secretary Okram Lakhikanta said as per the Indian Constitution Article 347, there is no harm in including Manipuri language as one of the associate official languages of Assam. Now the sports news. IPL 2020 will be played from September 19 to November 10 this year. The decision to this effect was taken at a virtual meeting of the IPL Governing Council last night. The meeting was organized to give a final shape to the schedule and discuss other arrangements for the eagerly awaited events to be held in the UAE this year. Taking note of the prevailing COVID-19 situation in India, the IPL Governing Council decided to stage the tournament in UAE and the matches will will be played in Dubai, Sharjah and Abu Dhabi, subject to necessary clearances from the Government of India. The final will be played on 10th November this year. The 53-day tournament will witness 10 afternoon matches starting at 3.30 p.m p.m. Indian time while the evening matches will start at 7.30 p.m. Women's T20 Challenge will also take place in the UAE and will comprise three teams with four matches to be played during the IPL playoff week. General Secretary of All Sports, All Manipur Sports Association, Tingom Roshan, has been accorded the Grand Master title by Hanshi Mahmud ABD Mutalab and Sensei Ahmed Mossad of VGG International Sports Academy. Roshan is also the member of Northeast India Martial Arts Federation, which is affiliated to South Asia Federation of All Sports. Founder President of All Manipur Sports Association, NGD, and members of the association express immense happiness over, over Russian's achievement. Now, before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Nong Thombambirain inaugurates new COVID care center with 400 bed capacity at Lamboy Kongnangkong. Confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Manipur rise to 2,920, out of which active cases are 1,147 as 1,766 have recovered. Residents of COVID containment zones urge authorities concerned to take necessary safety measures. Government signs Memorandum of Understanding with seven government hospitals and three private hospitals to provide free treatment to beneficiaries of Ayushman Bharat, PMJY and CMHT scheme. And India reports single-day spike of nearly 53,000 new COVID-19 cases in last 24 hours. Death toll reaches 38,135.